We're live. Good morning, everybody, oh. and welcome to another exciting session of Essential Oils with Laura and Len. And uh, I think we agreed that you were going to start this this morning, so I should shut up. <laughs> hey, it's okay, because, you know, sometimes things are just uh, just the way they are. It's all right. Oh, this is my spontaneity. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. And uh, if you are wondering what we're doing today. It was kind of a surprise, but today we're gonna to be doing geranium rose. And um, it's a pretty interesting oil. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll do a screen share. Let me know if you can see it. I can see it. Awesome. I'm gonna wipe that. Okay. I'm gonna wipe you. There we go. Awesome. Okay, you're up. You can go first. Aha. Uh -huh. That's because you don't want to pronou try to pronounce that, huh? <laughs> Pelagonium. Right. Pelagonium. Gravulons. Huh? I don't know. It's an uncommon Pelagonium geranium species native to the Cape provinces and the northern provinces of South Africa, Zimbabwe, and Mozambique. USDA certified geranium rose. The botanical name is Paralogonium. No, well, we can print. Let's skip that okay. one. Yeah. Um, the method of extraction is stream steam distilled. The parts used are the leaves, the stalk, and the flowers. It's originating uh, originates in Egypt. It's USDA certified, and the scent. Is floral, rose like, sweet, earthy, herbaceous, green, and light citrus tone. Hmm. And it's got a lot of abuses uh, for aches, especially in the breast and throat, belly, breast swelling associated with menstrual cycles, circulatory support, cramps, hormonal balance, insects, bugs, parasites, the intestinal health. Mild mood changes with body heat associated with menopause, health, reproductive health, skin conditions, blemishes, bruises, burns, cuts, scrapes, wounds, stress, swelling, swollen veins, stomach health, and throat health. Lots of interesting uses. Next. Laura. I can't. Are you muted? Laura, you sorry muted yourself. That. Yep, sorry about that. Geranium <laughs> rose also helps improve circulation, intestinal, stomach, reproductive, rectal health, menstrual, and menopause support. <laughs> you, you, muted, you muted yourself because we were getting some help from the peanut gallery? Yes, they are, they are high demand today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're home. So popular uses for geranium rose, you use it in aromatherapy, steam facial to beautify your skin. Add a drop to your moisturizer to help balance oil production. The balancing properties of geranium make it, a, make it great for both dry and oily hair. Apply a few drops to your shampoo or conditioner bottle or make your own deep hair conditioner. Diffuse aromatically to help relieve occasional stress and tension. Place a drop in the palm of your hands, rub your hands together and cup over your nose and mouth to breathe and breathe slowly or diffuse as desired to release emotions and diffuse geranium oil throughout the room. Apply over the heart or solar plexus or breathe from the palm of your hand for connection. Hmm, interesting, huh? Very. Now, we, we caution you always while using these oils. So you always want to test them for skin sensitivity prior to widespread use and use on the feet when possible. Now, excessive use of any of the oils can lead to skin sensitization. sensitization. Keep out of the eyes, ears, and nose. And just remember that not all oils are created equal. You only want to use the USDA certified organic oils. 
And additional information, uses of geranium oil in aromatherapy uh, and or geranium, geranium oil is used to help treat acne, sore throats, anxiety, depression, and insomnia. And it's popular among women due to its rosy smell and its beneficial effect on menstruation and menopause. Hmm, okay. Let's find out what kind of blends work well with it. Well, they blend it blends particularly well with angelica basil, angelica, basil, bergamot, carrot seed, cedarwood, citronella, clary sage, grapefruit, jasmine, lavender, lime, neroli, orange, and rosemary. That's quite a lot. And here's the label from our product. Once again, uses for used for aches and cramps, circulation and swelling, blemishes, bruises, cuts, insects, bugs, parasites, intestinal, reproductive, stomach and rectal health, hormone, menstrual and menopause support. So quite a lot of uses, quite an interesting little oil and also a rather inexpensive oil. There's quite a bit of it around and uh, you know, it would be an absolutely marvelous stocking stuffer. So, geranium rose. I think that's the end. Is that that's the last slide? I think. Yep. Yes. That's the last slide. Yep. So that's what we have for you today, folks. Thanks for coming. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to wrap up this week with lavender, and that's going to be the end for this year. We're not going to do any next week, as m many of you know. And Laura, uh, where do we stand on the spreadsheet? Are we are we ready to put up a preliminary version of the spreadsheet? Yeah, we can probably do that to, after tomorrow's show. We can do that. Okay. If you need yeah. help, let me know. Okay. And the other thing, uh, I, 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 I got to apologize to anyone who's looking for the replays. Are you putting up the replays or have I dropped the ball? Uh, I have not put up the replays. I've just been putting up the PDFs. Okay, I'll go back and look at the replay videos and put up the ones that are missing. Okay. Cool. Well, so we'll get everything updated between today and tomorrow. We'll end up end this week with everything updated. Alrighty. Sounds good. So I don't see any questions coming from the audience. So that's it. We'll call it a day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. For now. Bye for now.